Okay, but that's where it falls apart, as far as I can tell. Nick Millwood is still running around town in a flap, not a quarter billion richer. If he had the money, he'd have taken off by now. Oh, no, not necessarily. You could be waiting for everything to die down. The longer you wait, the more eyes are on it, including yours. If you're going to pull this kind of scam, you're going to do it fast. You're watching Caribbean Vibrations, and we are sitting now with Mr. Casey Collins, one of the hardest working men in TV, as we're getting ready for the premiere of Law & Order Toronto, Criminal Intent. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic, and I appreciate that intro. I like yeah, it. Yeah. You work hard. You work hard. I see it. It's the Jamaican roots, isn't it? Don't know. And that, see, you skipped my first question. Yeah. Always ask everybody, where do you represent in the Caribbean? Yeah, Jamaica. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, it's all right. Now, Law & Order is a great big franchise. But you're in Law and Order Toronto, Criminal Intent. How do you feel that this series is going to stand out from that franchise? Well, I mean, I mean, obviously, lo locale, mm -hmm. right? Um, but I also think with that comes um, culture. Yeah, okay. Right? And in our case, you know, as they always say about Toronto, it's like a melting pot. What I feel is different is that you don't have to go to certain pockets to make that happen. So you don't have to go to Little Italy and, and so on and so forth, right? Um, the way I grew up specifically, my neighbor, Italian, um, we hung out all the time, basically my best friend, right? And you got Jamaican here, right? And then you got Greek over here and so on and so forth. And it, it was just an absolute melting pot. And I think we will separate ourselves, whether it's this season or next season, you know, from other cities and that have done Law and Order and specifically from New York. Even though I know, I understand New York is a melting pot, but why they don't melt like us, no? I can appreciate that, I can appreciate that. Now, as Steel Forester, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of different cases. Sure. But just like for the locale, we just have specific cases that are there for our audience that they can relate to? I, I without saying too much, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And once again, I think you're gonna get something, you're gonna get stuff that feels very present. And you're also gonna get things that are a bit from fast, right? And once again, I, I always like to speak on this, that it, it, in my opinion, it's up to the audience to request more, right? And that means request another season. And, and, and this is not, you know, it's shameful plug or anything like that. It's nothing like that, but it's, it's just, this is the reality of it. You can only fit so much into a season, right? And so those are things that you can come to expect over time mm -hmm. as well, right? So you, you gotta remember to give things some time. Mm -hmm. And what I love about what I do and the people involved in what I do is that we enjoy listening to our audience and what they like, dislike, what request, and, and so on. It doesn't mean that we'll, we'll, we live and die on it, but, but they are, you know, they're hurt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we're, we're gonna deal with some of the issues that people would see regularly on an everyday basis? Yeah, yeah. I, I say a hard yes to that. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Final question I gotta ask you. Final? That's it, and then we're done? We're done, because you know, we like to keep quick. Got now, it. you're from Manchester. How was your background from the Caribbean? That's uh, hard to help you influence your approach to acting. It, you know what? At the end of the day, here's the thing. When you're, you're okay, Manchester, Jamaica. Let's clear that up first, because it could have been England. There you go. My man, they know. They know. They know. They know. They know. Um, so at, at the end of the day, it's like you, you come to learn that you have the culture that you've grown up and known. You sort of, I, I, I'm still influenced by that. My grandmother, my mother, et cetera, my brothers, et cetera, et cetera. I'm still, you know, highly influenced by that. And so it, it reminds me just be just to be myself, right? So I am Jamaican Canadian. Uh -huh. Be myself and, and, and bring that authenticity to my work. Wherever it fits, you know, bring your bring your 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 culture to your work, mm -hmm. right? Bring your 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 memories to your work, right? Wherever it fits and wherever it works, and and be proud of it. And and so listen, where I'm from, I'm taught to be proud. Mm -hmm. And so I'm proud of the work that I do. I'm proud of the effort that I put in, and I'm proud of the way I look, and I'm proud of who I am. You know, yeah, I love that. And thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Man. And don't forget to watch Law & Order Toronto, Criminal Intent. Check your local listings and you're watching Caribbean Vibrations. Well.